Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. We are starting a brand new survival series, season two of the Let's Play series today because 1.16, the Nether update has officially launched. So we're going to go ahead and start a brand new world today and see what we have to work with. Let's go to single player. And for the new world, we're going to go ahead and uh, type in dad's G M C and then we'll do S two for season two and difficulty. We're going to go to hard, allow cheats to stay off. And that's pretty much the only thing that we're going to change. I'm not going to put in a seed this time. We are going to go straight on and just see what random world we pop into and explore around and see what we can do for season two. So let's go ahead and create this brand new world. I've been appearing right next to like <laughs> walls like this. Season one started exactly the same way. I appeared right next to like a thing, but this is a cave. This actually might be kind of a cool place to start off. But um, my goal is to really, since this is another update to start off and um, go to the nether as quick as possible. So it looks like we got some mountains over here. Let's let's get up on top of this hill and see if we can get a better view of what's going on here. So it looks like we have some forests around. And I have the visible chunks down because um, my computer doesn't really do well when there's a lot of chunks to load. So it looks like there's a swamp over here. I can see it out of my peripheral vision. And we've got our snowy biome mountains over here. We have a lava pool, which is going to be necessary for my plans for uh, getting to the nether quickly. And let's see what else do we have up here. Anything interesting on this side? I don't see any bees or anything yet flying around. Not really in an ideal location for villages to spawn. Uh, don't see too much this way. We're going we're gonna to have to do some exploring around, but let's go ahead and see if we can set up a little uh, cave base here since we spawned right near a, a cave. And uh, maybe there's uh, some iron in here that I can make a bucket and we can get into the nether as quick as possible. So my goals for season two, um, I, I'm going to play a little bit longer this time, uh, mainly because, you know, there's this is a brand new major launch. Uh, it's not just snapshots. So uh, we should be sitting on 1.16 for a while. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to to do some of the things I've, I've never done before, like um, a weather fight and, uh, you know, doing a, getting a beacon, maybe doing some underwater builds. But I, I really wanted to try doing a, a nice fantasy forest this time, um, like an enchanted forest with a uh, uh, fairy houses, gnome houses, like maybe some uh, dark stuff in the nether would be kind of a cool build. Um, maybe some wizard towers, like you know, stuff stuff like that. Uh, maybe have a cool castle if I find a, a, a neat area to build off of. So if you guys think that sounds like a plan, then we should probably go ahead and uh, get going on that as soon as possible. But we're going to go ahead and, and, like I said, try to get into the nether as, as quickly as we can. So these, these lilac bushes right here get in the way. Um, let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Oh, there's more lava in here too. All right. Yeah, we can do some cool stuff with this cave. So let's go ahead and do the stuff that we do at the beginning of games. And that's going to be, we're going to grab a couple things here. Make ourselves a crafting table. Get some sticks going. That. And... We're going to go ahead and build do a couple more like that because we're going to need um, some tools right off the bat. Get our crafting table down. And the first thing I, I like to do is I, I don't like to waste too many materials, but I do build a wooden pickaxe first thing uh, because it's easy then to get stone tools and you can be done with wooden tools from then on. And since we have iron right here, as, or I mean not iron, uh, as, since we have coal right here, we can go ahead and uh, get a furnace going and have um, food. And also if I can find some iron in this cave, which hopefully it's not going to be too hard, we can get a nether portal going as well. 
It might be kind of cool to put the nether portal inside this cave. Like this will be kind of like the the founding cave that we had that we spawned into. And uh, I might leave that there. It's kind of a neat little formation. Let's go this way. And let's get all the materials I need. So I'm going to go ahead and gather some materials really quick and um, see if I can get um, maybe some sheep as well so I can make a bed and I will cut back if I find anything like that. But while I'm mining like this, I'm just going to go ahead and mine and um, try to get through the first night. So here's some cows. Um, let's go ahead and get some meat really quick here. And if you uh, jump and hit on the downstroke, it's a critical hit, and you can get them in one hit. And that was not a, that was a fail right there. Otherwise, it takes three hits. Um, and there's a wolf right here. So if that guy sticks around, we'll be able to to tame him if we get some bones. That'll be neat to have a little companion right off the bat. Okay, let's see what else is around here. Maybe we can find a sheep or two or three. We need three without shears. Oh, there's some iron right there. That'll be handy. Actually, I could probably grab that right now and uh, make shears first thing. That way, if I find one sheep, uh, we're, we're in good shape then. Lots of lava. Anything easy to grab over here before I explore the, the depths of caves before I'm ready? Just more coal back there. Okay. Let's go see if we can find sheep. Plenty of eggs. It's really too bad in Minecraft you can't like uh, eat eggs. I mean, eggs are like one of the things in the real world that civilizations eat <laughs> like crazy. So uh, it's too bad that there's not a way to like boil them or, or something. Looks like there's more lava over there. We got a little forest fire going. Uh, birch forest. Let's see. Keep looking around here. Maybe more wolves over here that I saw. Yep, a whole pack. Where are the sheep? Okay, getting plenty of food. Got some sugar cane to start off with here. Let's go ahead and get these pigs too. Uh oh, sun is going down. Oh, here's sheep. Okay, how am I gonna do this? All right, I need to make a. Another crafting table really quick. This is going to be really janky, guys. Sorry about that. So we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to build a furnace. No sheep, come back. And uh, we are going to quickly cook. I'm going to throw all those in there because one of these will cook it. So all we need is two iron. And then I have enough for, uh, throw one more in there. We have enough for a good old shears. And hopefully this guy drops three. That would be awesome if that takes place. So let's go ahead and do this. No, come back here, sheepies. Oh, two. Eat your food. <laughs> Eat some grass. <laughs> quickly. Quickly, man. I need to sleep through the night. Oh, here's a taiga. So actually, we're doing pretty good with wood. Oh, and an enderman. Hi, enderman. Don't look at that guy. He will wreck us right now. So there might be a village in there. Who knows? But it's getting close to nightfall. It'd be great if that sheep went to bed. I mean, went to bed. No. It'd be great if that sheep actually, like, ate some food so I could go to bed. We'll grab this stuff really quick. There he goes. Okay. Cool. Coolio. We, we did it. All right. 
Can I have your sheep or your wool, please? All right, let's get that crafting table back down. I don't know if it's fun to watch people kind of struggle through their first couple of days playing Minecraft or not. Um, it's for me, it's the I think it's the most fun time of playing the game of Minecraft is the first couple of days and just trying to survive and find all the uh, first stuff that you need. Let's go ahead and grab him uh, again. Grab some more wool. Okay. Because uh, I, I just, it's to me, it's the, it's the challenge part of it. And I know there's challenges along the way, but it's, it's that whole survival, like that initial survival. Like it would be cool if, like in hardcore, or um, there was another setting that you could um, make it so you had a thirst bar, kind of like they do in some of the mod in Minecrafts, like um, was it real, real, um, real life craft, RL craft, um, which by the way is nothing like real life. But having something where it's like temperatures and the extreme and um, like hot and cold and different biomes would cause you to take damage or fatigue if you didn't have um, proper clothing to wear and um, thirst. Like that kind of stuff would be really cool. And we're not going to leave one block up here. Okay. Do that. And I do like spruce wood, so I was, that's I'm glad that it's right nearby. I don't think we're going to have a base that's going to be like a permanent base at spawn like I did last season. I think we might um, tend to do some more wandering around and uh, maybe find some cool areas. But it's nice to know that there's all this stuff at spawn that we can come back to if we need to. All right. Let's see how much wood I have there. Okay. And we've got a nice stream here that we can get fish. Fish are great early uh, early game food because um, they keep on respawning and um, they, they're they easy to get with them. Um, if you don't have a fishing pole, uh, they used, you used to only be able to get them in fishing poles, but now that they let you uh, have a visual thing that you can kill with axes and swords, you can go ahead and get a whole bunch of this stuff relatively easy. And then just walk away and come back and voila, you have a evergreen food source. Sometimes you have to clear out the um, squids that spawn in the rivers because they'll take up some of the mob cap given to the fish. I don't know if they adjusted that a little bit. And um, I know they did some changes to the fishing spawn rates and what constituted a fish spawn. And um, they this update so we'll have to see if that changes things or not okay let's go back to our cave and uh, i'm going to go ahead and make a bucket and we're going to go into the nether okay um, I got some iron and we are going to go ahead and make a couple of buckets. We need one for water and one for the lava. So we'll do two. And I have some leftover iron that we can use for pickaxes and a sword, which will be great. Um, but I also want to go ahead and make a campfire here. So I have a place to uh, cook my food and not waste coal. Uh, that's a, it's a great thing to do early game is make a campfire uh, just so you have a place to you know cook and not waste really um, high potential items to smelt like uh, iron and uh, gold and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and uh, cook up some food and then I'm going to cut back and we will go ahead and make our nether portal Okay, so now we come to the part where how do you make a nether portal without a diamond pickaxe to get obsidian? Well, you need two components. You need water, which is behind me over there, and you need lava, which is right here on the ground. And both of these are actually readily available in any Minecraft world. So you don't have to 
actually dig down uh, to like the lava layer at 11 in order for you to find uh, lava to, to do this trick with. But, you know, if you want to get to the nether early in game or um, you're having a hard time finding diamonds and you want to go to the nether, uh, you know, because, you know, you want to go to the nether and see what it looks like because there's cool stuff in the nether, um, you can easily make this with uh, just these two components. So let's go into how to make a nether portal without a diamond pickaxe. So the first thing we're going to do is um, originally I was going to put the portal up there in the cave, but I think I'm going to put it down here just because it I don't want to keep on running back and forth. So we're going to need an infinite water supply and um, that just makes it easier so we don't have to keep on running back and forth over here. So to get an infinite water supply, you just need uh, two buckets of water and a four by or two by two space for four, like four blocks total. So we're going to fill up both these buckets with water and we'll come back over here and we'll put it right next to where we're going to put the nether portal. And I think what I'm going to do is put it into the kind of like the side of this like um, hillside right here because I think it'd be easy to to build against. So we'll clear a space. Um, let's see where would be a good space for that. So our cave entrance is right up here somewhere. There it is over here. Okay. Right here. So we come down like this and let's put the nether portal like right here and this is west the sun's setting in the west east uh so this is south and north so we can have a north and south facing one or east west i think we'll do east west i'll just carve it out right here so let's go ahead and build that infinite water supply really quickly so you just deal a two by two area like this and then you put a water bucket on one corner like that and a water bucket over here and now you can grab water out whenever you want um, and it stays full of water so there we go a lava you can't do this with lava is once you take lava it, it's gone at that point so let's go ahead and clear space really quick for the nether portal and we're gonna make it um, just a small one not not a very big one so we're just gonna have a two um, wide opening so it'll be, um, we need four spaces going in one direction and we can, we can come up here with, uh, the dirt, just fill it out. So we don't have to keep on digging back in there. So it should be, um, two or four across, like, um, let's get rid of this guy right here. So we need to come over one more like that. And we need to go up a total of four. One, two, three, four. So this is plenty big right here. So we need essentially a three by two opening like that. Okay. Or in the ground, if we want to dig down one, we have a space above it. But I think I'll just use this as the, the backdrop for where we're going to put the lava and water. And this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. There's two ways of doing this. Um, one is, and if you mess up, it you know turns into... To, uh, stone or uh, cobblestone so we're gonna get up here so we don't burn our feet and what you want to do is put a um, water or the the lava down like that and then quickly switch to that and voila you have uh, obsidian if you're quicker than I am <laughs> um, you can do it before you get the the cobblestone but I mean hey free cobblestone right so we're just going to continue to do this like that. And we actually didn't need to have that infinite water supply uh, doing this technique. Uh, sometimes you uh, need to have it, but you know, we have our own water supply down here. So we're, we're good now. So we're going to put our other one right here and let's see, I got them in five and six in the hot bar. So we'll do this there. See, I was faster that time and you can keep on doing this around in this square. Uh, like I'll do it. And, um, I'll do it as kind of like a sped up little area time thing, but yeah, that's, that's all you do.
And there you have it, easy peasy, man. That is a super simple way of building another portal. So all you need is three on the sides up like this, and then two in the bottom and two on the top like that. So having a, a background structure to build upon um, is necessary, but it, it does not take that long at all. And as we do trades with hoglins, uh, when we go in here, um, we'll have some crying obsidian that we can drop down in the corners or we can do some other decorations in the corners. But for right now, we're just gonna leave it like that because um, we don't need anything more fancy than what we have here. And I'm gonna go up here real quick and let's get set up for going into the nether the first time. So we're gonna go ahead and grab um, some iron tools because we're gonna go in and there's a couple things we're gonna have to do right away. We're gonna take in our cobblestone because we, we might need to make a platform or a way of securing our little area. We're gonna take in our dirt um, in case we need to build pillars or other things to get out, out of a, a bad situation or to reach uh, some gold uh, to mine. And we don't need our buckets, so we're gonna leave them here. Um, let's go ahead and take some steak and yeah, let's go ahead and make some iron tools. So I was able to do a little bit of mining, not much, just enough to get some iron. And we're gonna make a pickaxe, um, very important tool for um, just everything really. You can you can mine the gold fine with this, but um, when th this goes through, if you're getting quartz really quickly on stone, uh, iron will last a little bit longer. And let's go ahead and, oh, forgot to grab our wood. Let's grab our wood right here. We are going to make a shield because those piglins, uh, they like to attack you if you don't have uh, gold on. So we're gonna go ahead and make a shield just so we can defend ourselves. Uh, it may not totally protect us, but uh, we'll, we'll do our best. And we're gonna build a sword and some just protective armor for ourselves. So let's go ahead and make a chest plate like that and some pants and I think we're gonna leave it right there with uh, five left over um, because we need to actually do this I almost forgot uh, we need to light the nether portal so we're gonna make a um, flint and steel as well and let's go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need we'll, we'll take one iron just in case we need that for um, getting back through the nether if uh, the portal goes out do we have everything else that we need here? Got some sticks, got some wood. Um, I'm gonna actually, this is gonna sound kind of weird, maybe, but I wanna go ahead and build a gate because um, piglins can open doors. So um, if we don't have a, a decent spawn location that's protected, we're gonna need to make a really quick fortification and have a way of closing that off and a, a gate is a good way of doing that so uh, i don't need you i don't need the poppy um so we're going to go ahead and do that and i think i also might do uh some walls as well that way we can quickly build a structure with walls if we need to around the nether portal and that could be temporary it doesn't need to be permanent like that so let's see do we have everything let's get that in the right spots I need both of you out right now. And yeah, I think I think that's good. And we'll also get some torches. So we can just light up the area if we need to. So we'll, we'll do that right there, okay. And how about putting on the armor first? <laughs> there we go, and shield. And we'll get our sword in there. Nope, hit the wrong button. And yeah, okay, cool, all right. Let's go on into the nether for the first time and see what we have. I mean, we can land in one of what, four or five different new biomes. I mean, that's that's pretty exciting. Uh, the nether used to be so boring uh, and just, you know, you'd wander around forever. So here we go. I'm gonna switch to the wall really quick here so we can build a fortification. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. I'm right next to a bastion. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is like the luckiest spawn ever. So let's go ahead and still wall this in around here like this. 
so we have some protection because there should be some piglins around here with a monstrous bastion right here. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe my luck. There. Okay, cool. So this should protect us around for a little while. Um, I don't like the fact that this spawned into a soul sand valley because um, between the wither skeleton or the skeletons and the gas, um, this can be a really, really hard place to go. But well, <laughs> that is crazy. Let's go ahead and put our gate in real quick here. And we might want to, what I'll do is I'll also um, build this up to one more layer so we have uh, some protection. Let's go ahead and put that there too. Um, and there's no way they can, oh, they can jump over this right here. So we'll clear this out. It's important just to inspect everything and make sure there's no um, ways for um, mobs to get in. Like right here is fine. Uh, you won't get like the little hoglins or little piglins coming in underneath there. And we're able to get in and out uh, through this gate, but no one else can get in through that gate. They could still shoot us, though, with um, arrows from their crossbows and um, also the skeletons from their bows. So we'll need to build this up a little bit. But I think for today's episode, that is going to be it. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more from the Dad's Guy in the future, Click that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode. And uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, click that like button. It really helps the channel grow. So thank you for watching the beginning episode of season two of the Dad's Guide to Minecraft Let's Play. And uh, I hope you uh, stick with me on this one. This is going to be a cool adventure in the new Minecraft 1.16 update. Um, so until next time, bye for now.